Today, we're going to make some linen cartridges for the Sharps carving. The goal is not to produce an exact 19th century copy, but a reliable, accurate, more durable cartridge that is completely consumed upon firing. For material, I bought a yard of Irish linen off of Amazon. No mention of weight or thread count. I sized it with starch and I ironed it. Don't let the wife see you know how to iron. For the end cap, I'm using thin deli wrap and tea bag paper, but tissue paper or hair curler paper works fine. Whatever you again can bust a cap on. For tools, I'm using a modified 4570 case for the mandrel an appropriately sized hole in a block of wood for a case former and an altered piece of PVC pipe for the overall cartridge length gauge. Overall cartridge length is critical on the flat based cartridge. For components I'm using Black MZ Black Powder Substitute. It's low fouling and it needs no bullet loop. Circle Fly 510 over powder wads, Elmer's white glue, peel starch for sizing, and shoots and musket caps. For a bullet, I'm using the Pedersoli Round Nose 317541. Okay, let's roll one. First, roll the pre cut sized linen around the mandrel. Handles just like paper. Glue the seam. Then paint some glue on the base and stick a one inch by one inch piece of your paper as the end cap. Roll it around in your fingers a few seconds to set the glue. Next, Drop it in the case former and add your charge of black powder or black powder substitute. In my case, it's 55 grains of MZ. Never had this load fail for a humane kill on an empty beer can. Press in an over powder wad. I add a second wad to take up space from the normal 65 grain service charge. Paint some glue on the heel of the bullet and set it on the cartridge. Roll the cartridge in your fingers to set the glue. Check your overall cartridge length and set it aside to dry. Our test rifle is a Pedersoli 1859 carbine. The only changes I've made to it is swap out the stock cone, which fits no musket cap I know of, 
with the Track of the Wolf MMS1 nipple and it fits the RWS caps perfectly. Also added the taller front sight because it originally shot quite high. Head's gas control system consists of an O-ring behind the pressure plate and a sliding sleeve in the breech. Make sure you wear your safety glasses and watch your hand placement. Don't have any exposed cartridges or caps in the immediate area. No unburned linen left in the barrel, just fine ash. I haven't seen any period accounts of nitrating the linen, but I have seen mention of varnishing the cartridge for waterproofing. I tried an experiment and painted shellac on a few of the cartridges, and they work perfectly. In the American Civil War, Sharp has replaced the cut tail cartridges due to complaints of inconsistent accuracy due to the random loss of powder when the tail was cut off. Plus the loose powder quickly fouled the action and occasionally found its way into the forestock, which, if you're having a really bad day, would explode. Next they tried flat based paper cartridges but the paper was fragile and degraded by the bullet lube causing the round to fall apart during rough handling. Finally, they came up with the linen cartridge which was the best option until the brass case was perfected. So, thoughts on using linen? I like it. It's inexpensive and one size is as easy as paper to work with. I have made many paper cartridges, some with commercially produced nitrated paper, hair curler paper, deli wrap, and they all left unburned paper in the chamber that needed to be removed before the next shot. They are all kind of fragile. The linen burns clean and makes a much sturdier cartridge. Using an over powder wad instead of cream of wheat for a filler also makes the round more solid. The rounds that I painted shellac on were almost as hard as a brass case. An afternoon of shooting, no barrel cleaning. 